hello! I'm gonna make a quick lunch today. I'm gonna prepare some avocado toast, but kind of loaded with smoked salmon, an egg on top, and also mozzarella cheese and some a little bit of cilantro that I have left. So I have some toast that's toasting right now, and I realize that I really need a stiff toast to spread my butter and avocado um, or else I'll like poke a hole through it. So I'm getting it nice and toasty. It might be a little burnt coming out. On the pan on the right, I have it preheating to put my eggs in. You could poach eggs, but I'm doing kind of like a little over easy sunny side up. I'll show you how I do it in a bit. So let's prepare the avocado. And here's my toast. While that is hot though, I am going to put some butter and butter it on butter it here. Oops, so the butter melts a little bit around and underneath. much so I'll just put the rest back in um, and we'll get a knife for the avocado I like to rinse it it's ready when it has some give um, you could make an indent if you push pretty hard but it's not too squishy so I think it's just perfect I want to get my big knife. You could use a small knife. Well, I'll, I'll probably use a small knife. Sometimes it's easier to take out the pit with the big knife because it gives more weight to dig into the pit. But with practice, you could do it with a small knife. You just want to be careful. That's about right. Looks perfect to me. I'm gonna save half of it. I usually only like to eat a half at a time. Sometimes I like to put lime juice. Um, I'm not gonna take out the pit because it's gonna make it more brown. I do. But sometimes I put, it, put lime juice on there so it doesn't go brown. But I don't have lime juice, so I'll keep it like that. There's these like avocado um, pit sleeves that you could put on top of avocados that have been cut. Uh, so um, to help them prevent them from browning, I think I might want to buy one of those. So I'm just carefully slicing through, but not too hard so it doesn't go through the shell to grab my soon um the pan's getting pretty hot so I have to start that soon but uh we'll do this oops a quarter on each side and we'll, we'll just smash it and my pan is getting pretty hot so I'm gonna pause right here so, pan is hot. I am going to put um, some, sometimes I spray it with nonstick, sometimes I do butter. I'm gonna put olive oil and wait for that olive oil to get hot. And it's smoking. So we wanna pop in our eggs. I'm gonna lower the heat. It was that hot. I'm gonna lower it to like medium, medium high because it's smoking quite a lot now. Because it's very hot, be careful, it's gonna splash back. So just put in the egg. So be careful about it splashing. It's very hot. And just leave that there for like a minute. And then the way I 
to do in between sunny side and over easy is I like to cover it so I'll cover it so the top gets cooked um, but I like it pretty runny and then I'll start back on my avocado oops okay move this to the side And so you could see what I'm doing. Might not need the knife anymore. We'll see. Well, actually, we'll use the knife to spread. And then we'll just spread it. I don't like my avocado too mushy, so I'll just, you know, kind of chop it up and spread it that way. And I love when I'm able to get these avocados on sale. They're on sale quite a bit and I'm able to sometimes find coupons at Giant. So you don't have to be luxurious to enjoy avocado all the time. You just have to plant it. And making it at home saves so much more money. And that's what I like to do. So eggs are cooking on the side. You'll see um, through the camera that it's starting to get a white coat on top. And that's when I like to usually maybe move it off the heat. Sometimes I like to jiggle it to see if it's like still, right now it's still a little bit too jiggly for me. So I'll keep it on for a couple more seconds, maybe 30 seconds. And next, I'm going to put my salmon on here. I had the salmon frozen for a while. And then I want to eat it in a few days. So, um, Before I put the salmon, I do want to put some seasoning. Put a little bit of salt and pepper. And also I have this garden dill seasoning from Spice House that I love to put with my salmon. I like a lot of ground pepper, just a smidge of salt. This is a really strong salt when it's ground. Okay, so um, it looks like one of the eggs actually popped open. And so <laughs> I think maybe the heat was a little too hot, that's okay. So it's a, a little bit overdone for my liking. I think I kept it for longer than 30 seconds and it can cook quite quick. So I'm just gonna move it away from the heat so it's not cooking anymore. It's like off the heat plate and just be careful. It's very hot so you don't wanna touch it. And put some of my garden dill from Spice House on the avocado. And then I'm going to put extra garden dill on top of my salmon, just overload it, and just put some of this. So good. And put like maybe a half a slice more each. Fill in the gaps a little bit. Okay. Garden dill on top of that. Get these eggs out. They are pre-set, so I put them in too long. Oops, but that's okay. I don't recommend using a metal spoon on nonstick, but I am lazy and it's easy to get out and I'm being really careful. So, um, fold this under and put this and I'm going to put some black pepper on top. 
extra black pepper because we love. And this is good on English muffins if you have any other type of breads. If you have ciabatta, it would be really good. Um, and then while the egg is still hot, I'm going to put some cheese on top. So it melts. This is just mozzarella cheese. And then some cilantro for color and extra freshness. I'm like out of the cilantro. But even though this looks like trash, this looks like nothing, that is like more than enough for me. It's very fragrant, can be. So I just need to remember to buy more cilantro next time I go to the grocery store. Oops, so. That is my meal. And let's cut into it. And of course, I'm gonna eat this with my hands, but we'll see how that egg is. So, that egg, oops, making a mess. That egg is not too bad. I like it personally a little bit more runny, but sometimes it gets too messy. So that's how it looks. And I'm gonna enjoy this and thanks for joining me and I'll catch you next time.